Are you aware? China has 3,000.260 high-speed railways in total, connect several Chinese cities and significantly increase China's GDP. We are all aware of China. The best technology in the world is high-speed rail. But China cannot consistently hold the top spot. In order to maintain their position as the world's leading high-speed rail technologies, Germany and Japan recently proposed the idea of high-speed rail without stopping at stations. China has started. Create a sophisticated station for high-speed rail. A future time, high rate, there will be no rail. Passengers can exit the station without stopping at the station. As long as this high-speed rail station can be built, it must be said, it will undoubtedly gain popularity around the globe. Because of this, the United States claimed in the media that China's high-speed rail technology is improving and that they are absorbing its lessons. And this too, advanced, can a high-speed rail station be built in China? What benefits does it offer? As the calling card of China, the fastest operational speed for rail is 350 km per hour. Due to China's vast landmass, far too big, residents who choose to use the high-speed rail will need to allow additional time. The high-speed rail must stop at the station, which is the fundamental justification. Even if the high-speed rail only stops for a brief period of time, However, we assume that it will take the high-speed rail 10 minutes to arrive at the station. If high-speed train service is permitted at this time, it has a 50-kilometer range. The deceleration is still being counted in this. During the height, when speed rail enters the station, the exiting process accelerates. Although each high-speed station, this is only a waste of time. There will be multiple rail lines, especially some smaller stations. stations. Few people are traveling with them but they also require high-speed rail so that passengers may stop, board, and then disembark. This illustrates how expensive it is in terms of time to stop at a high-speed train station and how passengers' time is squandered without them even realizing it. In light of this, as long as the high-speed train does not halt at the station, time spent running the entire height, swift rail. Line will be divided in two. However, if the high-speed train doesn't halt at the station, how could travelers make use of the high-speed train? China has proposed a new idea for high-speed rail that doesn't stop at stations in response to this circumstance. The name should tell you that 24 7 high-speed rail implies that when the high-speed rail reaches the station, it is no longer necessary to halt so that travelers can get off and on. There are various benefits to high-speed rail that doesn't stop at stops. Cost savings is the first. Given that many of China's high-speed trains do not travel from one station to another immediately, it is acknowledged that the carrying capacity of the high-speed rail must reach 120% to guarantee a return on investment. Along the journey, there are a lot of transit stops. Therefore, the high-speed rail's carrying capacity must be 200% as long as it travels via numerous transfer stations. To recover the expense, however, the use rate is low in many undeveloped regions of China. Rapid transit systems doesn't go to 80%. That many high-speed rail will encounter the issue of financial loss. Whether or not the high-speed rail travels through developed areas, the idea of high-speed rail without pausing at stations allows the high-speed rail to recoup its cost as long as the occupancy rate hits 60%. Indisputable cost savings for China's high-speed rail result from this. High-speed rail, which doesn't stop at stations, also saves time residents a lot. Everyone is aware that time is money. Additionally, residents may be able to increase their wealth thanks to the time saved by high-speed rail that doesn't stop at stops. Aside from the issue of citizens having difficulty traveling is also resolved by the high-speed rail without stopping at a station. China's Spring Festival and National Day are the festivals with the biggest crowds, per the report. 90.35 million individuals move every day on average. This enormous flood of Chinese residents find it very challenging because of other people. Pass through the station without getting off the high-speed rail. Saves time by not having to stop at the station, and these savings add up. China is currently able to send a few, even higher. Passengers are transported by fast trains. Without stopping at stations, high-speed rail not only provides for locals' necessities, but also helps China increase its earnings. 
However, the United Kingdom was the country that initially introduced the idea of high-speed rail without a station stop. The British strategy is also similar, moving a dock. By using this technique, the station halt is no longer necessary for the high-speed rail. Also the rapid speed. Rails merely need to keep their normal speed and go along the rails. When travelers require it, transfer. The city tram will go along the lines at the same speed as the high-speed rail. And then, the high-speed tram. Comparatively, rail, stationary. Passengers will be able to transfer because their doors will be docked. Through the linking, the two cars' doors, following the transfer, it will be the high-speed rail. Run on as the tram will arrive back in a circle. At the time, this idea captured the attention of the entire globe, but British high-speed rail technology was insufficient. Therefore, the high-speed rail project in the UK that does not stop at stations has been put on hold. Notwithstanding the constant high, the speed rail, a thorough docking transfer strategy for the non-stop high-speed rail has also been put out by the UK and Turkey. The notion of this plan is used when passengers need to exit the train at the destination station. A number of carriages will drive the people who need to board the train from behind the track to dock with the high-speed train after that. Passengers who need to disembark can now do so by going into the vehicle's back compartment. Accelerated rail. Additionally, travelers who want to board the train from their cabin must walk there. The rapid transit system. Once everyone has boarded and disembarked the train, the so that the high-speed rail cannot halt, a carriage will leave it and then transport the passengers who must disembark to the station. The world has taken notice of Turkey's unrestrained notion, but because its primary domestic transportation modes are buses and the high-speed rail project that doesn't stop at stations are gradually losing popularity. China is now posing difficulties once more. High-speed rail directly, using concepts from both Britain and Turkey and later presented a fresh idea for direct high-speed rail, which is plan for suspension transfers. Using this technique, the high-speed rail track will be converted from a single layer to a double layer. The high-speed rail track is on one layer of the tracks and the ferry track is on the other. After that, tack on a dedicated transit pod regarding the high-speed rail. Only when the high-speed train passes through the bottom of the pod do passengers who board and disembark from the bus need to enter the port beforehand. The pre-arranged pods will be removed. The pods that need to exit will be put on the platform by the high-speed train. In this manner, there is no need for the high-speed rail to pause and wait for passengers to board and exit regarding the high-speed rail system without stops proposed by China. China received it from Germany, which has very advanced high-speed rail technology. Excellent evaluation, but expecting it to happen is unrealistic. A speed of 250 km per hour or above is considered high-speed rail in China, according to the poll, which applies to both new and existing railway lines. This speed is really ominous. You must be aware that the death rate will be 100% at speeds more than 100 km per hour. The high-speed rail needs to finish a number of processes, including acceleration and docking, passengers boarding and departing. Additionally, a speed reduction of more than 250 km per hour. For the transportation of Japanese engineers, it is necessary to construct a very lengthy high-speed rail line near to the high-speed rail station. At a minimum, the line will cost 30 million USD and should be at least 40 km long, aside from. In China, many of the high-speed rail power supply networks are located immediately above the tracks. China will need to make significant improvements to the current high-speed rail lines if it intends to attain non-stop high-speed rail. When that time comes, China must fully eliminate the current high-speed rail system, supply chain. Afterward, substitute a train chassis and power supply. This improvement applies to China in general. Expensive, but also extremely dangerous second, there are numerous connections among China's high-speed rail networks. The operation of numerous high-speed rail lines will be halted while repairs are made to one section of the track. Chinese residents find it inconvenient as a result. Travel also raises China's cost of living, more significant when there are many. About passengers leaving, how big does the PAB need to be to accommodate so many people at a particular station, which accounts for 50% or more of the entire number of passengers? At this time, 
Although China's plan to build high-speed rail without stopping at stations is wildly impractical, it is still developing. Science and technology are always evolving. Technology will eventually enable the high-speed rail project without station stops. China's high-speed train that doesn't pause. Stations initiative. Thanks for watching. Click on these video to watch about another amazing project you didn't know about.